What's up guys, Walt How Tuesday and Reviews. Today, I'm gonna cover the NMN topic. I'm gonna announce the giveaway to the winner at the end of the video. I'm going to cover my first and second experiment and talk a little bit about the Grim Age. Feel free to use the timeline to skip ahead. So the reason I got interested in this whole thing was I was just listening to Joe Rogan. He had some guy who's like, I work at Harvard, I got a PhD, I'm one of the leading researchers in anti-aging. So of course, Joe asked him, hey, you know, what's the newest and latest greatest science? Like, what are you personally doing in your life to try to live longer? And David told him, hey, I do these lifestyle things, but what was really interesting to me is he mentioned three different compounds or drugs or supplements, whatever you wanna call them. So naturally, I wrote it all down. I was really interested in it, and I'm like, man, I wanna try this stuff out and see if it has any effect on me. So there was three different drugs that he was taking, NMN, resveratrol, metformin. Metformin, you need a prescription for. There's some other reasons other than that hurdle why I didn't decide to try that one, but I've already gone over that in previous videos, and we're just gonna stick with NMN and resveratrol, because theoretically, those should have an impact with or without metformin. So for my first experiment, you know, I got a hold of these supplements, and I decided, hey, I'm gonna take a blood test beforehand, then I'm gonna take the supplements for two months, I'll report how I feel, and then take another blood test and see what happens. And I also had the idea, hey, I should just record this and document it for other people. Now you can go back and watch my previous videos if you're interested in that, but you know, blood test changed a little bit. I definitely felt like it gave me some more energy and whatnot, but I realized this is all anecdotal evidence and it really doesn't prove anything. What I actually liked most about the experiment, ironically, was that a bunch of people watched it and actually commented, giving their testimonial of how these supplements made them feel. I was really interested into older people's testimonials because theoretically, it should have a bigger impact the older you are. Now, I made like a 30 minute long video that really gets into the nitty gritty and it almost kind of sort of summarizes David Sinclair's book. So if you want to know more, I'll link it in the description. You can watch that. I'll also put a link in the description to a web page that organizes all the testimonials and just puts them right there. So if you're interested, you don't have to sift through different videos and different comments to try to find them all. So after that experiment, I was kind of bummed out and realized, ah, you know, there's no way to prove this. And then upon further research, I started learning about this guy, Dr. Horvath. And basically, he kind of stumbled upon a way to determine how old different mammals and life is based on their DNA. Now, he refined this over some years and actually came up with this test called the Grim Age Test. He called it that after the Grim Reaper. Now, this test is the most accurate one and the hardest to change. Just to give you an idea, he has a twin brother. When they were 51 years old, they both took this test and it came back saying they were 48.9 years old. Now, they have the same genetics because they're twins, but obviously their lifestyle can't be the exact same. I don't know how much they differ in terms of what they eat and exercise and where they live and that sort of thing, but it just shows you it's incredible that none of their lifestyle differences made an impact on their age. Learning that, I realized this is a great way to test if the NMN and resveratrol do anything. Unfortunately, this isn't commercially available to where you can just buy and get this test. Now they do have businesses that are trying to make a profit that are based on the Horvath research that do allow you to test your DNA. It's proprietary and it's not independently evaluated, but I understand it from a business standpoint. Their marketing message is test yourself, see how old you are, make some lifestyle changes, and see if you can affect that biological age. It really wouldn't make sense if they were given the grim age test. It's like, yeah, you, nothing changes it. it. It wouldn't make much money, so I get that. Unfortunately though, the problem is I can't actually take that to see if there is any effect on it. And I have asked the question, you know, why hasn't David Sinclair done this or somebody else? And in my eyes, there's only three possible outcomes. One is they know it's not gonna change anything so they don't waste their time doing it. Two is they had that thought, they're currently doing it right now and we'll learn about it later. Or three is, yeah, they already did it, it didn't change anything and it's not exciting to report on so nobody's heard about it. But again, if anybody out there has access to this test or has somehow done this test, please let me and my viewers know, like comment in the description below so I can at least get an answer to this question because I'm genuinely fascinated by it and really curious if it has any effect on that Grim Age Horvath test. So when I started my year long second experiment that I'm currently nine months in, I didn't really fully understand this and I may have been a little bit naive, but let me explain what this year long experiment is and where I'm at right now. The easiest way is just gonna be to show you in this graph. So let's jump into that and then I'm gonna announce the winner of the giveaway. Here is a visual representation of the second experiment I'm doing. This black line right here represents time. This is the beginning of the experiment, 
and this is one year later, so halfway would be six months. Now, at the very beginning of the experiment, my real age was 33 years old. I took this DN age test at zero at the very beginning of the experiment, and it said I was 35 years old. Then, for six months, I did nothing. At the six month marker, I took the DN age test again, and to my astonishment, this time it said I was 33. My real age, still 33, but it said that I actually got two years younger. So what I established was, for that six month period, the rate at which my age changes was negative two. So I actually get two years younger every six months, according to this test. Maybe there was some kind of outside factor that made me get younger, but I really didn't try to do anything. I was eating ice cream. I wasn't really working out much. I was even drinking Red Bull. And if anything, you know, it was kind of a stressful time period with the whole virus and everything. So I don't even think my stress levels got better. Now, if the rate at which I age over this next six months while I'm taking the anti-aging drugs, if that rate of change isn't negative three or less, less meaning like negative four or negative five, or a simpler way to think about it is, if I don't get more than two years younger, meaning three years younger, four years younger, my rate of aging change is gonna show that this didn't do anything, and I'm suspicious and almost assuming that it's not gonna be two, it's gonna be maybe I got a year older, maybe it stayed the same, which would imply that the anti-aging drugs actually made me age faster. So that can't be for sure, we don't know what that is. At the one year marker, I will take the test again and post it. My real age will be 34, I got a birthday coming up next month, and I'm really curious to see what it says, but if I had to guess now, it's gonna say that taking these anti-aging drugs made me age quicker than doing nothing at all, at least for this six month period, and who knows why it got younger. Obviously, I'm elated and happy about it, but in terms of this experiment, I think the only thing I'll prove is that it doesn't work. But to be fair, let's give it a year and actually see. Who knows, maybe it'll say I got four years younger, and that would be, super awesome and just so you know i'm taking one gram of each nmn and resveratrol half of the nmn i do sublingual under the tongue half a gram i put in my stomach by swallowing it the resveratrol i take the full gram with a high fat whole milk yogurt so i hope that visual representation helps you understand the second experiment i feel like i may have confused some people with my last video not being extremely clear with this but i just wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page and understood all right, now to determine and figure out who is the winner of the free month of NMN and resveratrol. Uh, there was 37 people that entered. I put them in an Excel file, went to this random generator, press generate. Number 17, Anna Olkulska. You are the winner of the free month of NMN and resveratrol. I'll comment on the comment you made with hashtag entry with my email. We'll get in touch and I'll have Chris with GeneX Formulas ship you the free month supply of the NMN and resveratrol. Congratulations. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you can appreciate the time I put into this and the fact that I'm running this experiment, please give me a thumbs up and stay tuned, maybe subscribe to find out what happens at the end of that year long experiment. It'll be over December 5th. I'll probably get the results two to three weeks after that. As soon as I do, I'll post another video about it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.